Getting back to uh, some of our midterms 2018 coverage here, uh, there's a midterms battle brewing in a historically Democrat region of Texas where a pro-Trump independent candidate is taking on anti-Trump Congressman Al Green. Earlier, we spoke with Keisha Rogers about her campaign and about her decision to quit the Democrat Party. All right, Keisha Rogers, thanks so much for joining me. Hello, Patrick. Thank you for having me. All right. Well, you're, you're currently locked in a battle with a Democrat incumbent, Congressman Al Green in the 9th District of Texas. Uh, and for those that may not know, that's a that's a fairly big chunk in and around the Houston area in southeastern Texas. Uh, it's predominantly Democrat. It has been for years. Uh, Africans, African Americans and Hispanics make up nearly 80 percent of the population there. But you've got an interesting story in that uh, you're running on an independent ticket, uh, not Democrat. Yeah. And your campaign could be considered pro-Trump. Now, we're just 34 days out from Election Day. How's the campaign going right now? The campaign is going very well. And as you said, I am running against incumbent Al Green as a independent. And I'm running as an independent because the Democratic Party, which is represented by people like Al Green leading the resist movement against the current president of the United States, is acting against the decision process and the election process that was made in 2016, which elected President Trump to put an end to the war policy as he committed to and to actually address the economic needs in the country. And this is not a question of Republicans versus Democrats. I'm running as an independent because both parties have failed to address the real issues at hand in this election, which starts with poverty, uh, jobs, alleviate addressing the question of hurricane relief. And the key right now is that people like Al Green and Congressman Green and who represents the impeachment drive against the president based on no constitutional evidence whatsoever pose a real threat to the nation in the fact that these people would rather see the president removed than the United States get into a nuclear confrontation, which is the key issue. Right. Which, when you had a president who said he would actually act against the war, ongoing war policy, this is a threat to those individuals who want to see the United States get into that type of confrontation. Well, and you, you fairly, you pretty much just answered it there. You've said, and this is a quote, uh, that this election is pivotal for the survival of the entire nation. So what are you hearing from the people of the 9th District? I know it's one of the poorest districts in the state of Texas. What are they talking about the most there right now? So what they're talking about the most, most is job opportunities, the unemployment rate, but more importantly, talking about what's happened with, you know, here in Texas, we had the devastation of Hurricane Harvey, and it's not just uncommon to many other states around the country. But who is addressing flood relief? Who is addressing the economic recovery program for infrastructure development? I am. That is I was talking about Make America Great Again before President Trump even started talking about it, because it starts with making sure that our infrastructure is up to a standard. We cannot allow for D minus or less in our infrastructure. And many lives could have been saved if the infrastructure was not at the low rate standard that it has been for many decades now. We have to rebuild our national infrastructure. What was Al Green's response to, to the hurricane um, over the last, you know, in the recovery since the hurricane in Houston? The real response has been to act in the interest of the financial oligarchy, the financial interest of Wall Street, and not to come up with a real plan of attack on how to start to put the credit and put the federal funding that's needed right into the development of these infrastructure projects. And uh, let me ask you this, uh, Keisha, in your mind, what's the platform for the current Democrat Party? Or is there a platform? Repeat your question. I can what, hear what you. Is the, what, in your mind, what's the platform for the current Democrat Party as they gear up for, of course, the 2018 midterms, but then 2020 and who may take on uh, President Trump? What's, what, what are they going to run on? Their platform is resist right now. Their platform is to run on impeaching Trump. And as not only myself, but others have said uh, that if, the, if this operation continues with the impeachment of the president right now, then they're going to go for a total destruction. So we got to put a stop to that. 
And the key is my platform is economic development. Their platform right now is to go with this resist movement. All right. Well, uh, switching gears a little bit here, House Republicans, uh, I know you're running on an independent ticket, but House Republicans on the Hill right now have been fighting back against the Justice Department uh, and the alleged bias against the president. Um, as you know, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein is accused of saying that he wanted to wear a wire, possibly to record the president in secret, secret conversations. And something familiar to you, he also talked about allegedly uh, invoking the 25th Amendment. Now, he denies those accusations, but your thoughts on how the conversation should go between President Trump and Rosenstein, should he be fired from the Justice Department? I don't know what's going to happen, but I know one thing is that when the president was elected, he was elected by the people and that he had to, he came in as sort of a maverick, as someone who wasn't establishment, establishment candidate. And so he had opposition from both sides, both the Republicans and the Democrats. He really ran on the independent ticket. So the question is, we'll see what's going to happen. But we have to actually address this from the standpoint of defending the Constitution and we will, I'm not sure what's going to happen with that, but I'll tell you one thing, that we have to make sure that the resist movement, people represented by uh, Al Green and others, do not get away with saying just because we don't like the president that we can make up some kind of constitutional offenses that are not constitutional to calling for his removal. All right. And I want to get your thoughts on one quick item here. Uh, last week, all eyes in the country were glued to television sets as Judge Brett Kavanaugh and his accuser of sexual assault, Dr. Ford, uh, testified on Capitol Hill. Uh, have you spoken to or heard from people in your district, in the Ninth District there, uh, on the gravity of all of this and what's at stake as senators push for his confirmation vote? Yeah, they're disgusted by the whole fiasco. And right now, the question is, it's not a question of Democrat versus Republican, what happened to due process, what happened to uh, innocent, innocent until proven guilty, uh, beyond a reasonable doubt. But you have people like the ACLU that are coming out, even a lawyer Dershowitz, Alan Dershowitz, has responded to this, and he's not a not a Republican, who has said, look, what happened to actually defense of the Constitution and actually having the evidence to prove someone's guilt? Uh, they don't have that right now, and the people are just sick and tired of these shenanigans and want to actually get the politicians to address the needs of the people once again and what's really uh, at the forefront of the lives of the population. And it's not any of this crap that they're talking about right now. All right. Well, again, only 34 days until Election Day. Uh, tell our viewers, uh, we have your uh, website up on the screen here. Tell our viewers how the, they can get involved and, and see what your campaign's all about. Sure. You can reach me at KeishaRogers.com is my website. I'm also on Facebook and uh, social media at Keisha Rogers TX. But please remember, this is the most important election, not just facing the 9th Congressional District, but also facing the nation. This is a question of between war and peace. And we actually have to work about bringing peace within this nation and throughout the world. And if the resist movement led by people like Al Green, greedy impeachment Green, gets in there, then this is going to create total chaos. So I need your support. Vote for Keisha Rogers, independent in the 9th Congressional District of Texas, and spread the word that this campaign is uh, leading the nation right now. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.